Gossips, trending, viral content, celebrity lifestyle. Welcome to. Is Real Housewives of Lagos a scripted show or a reality show? Now, let me read out the full meaning of scripted. It says, a scripted speech or show is something that has been written in advance. Although the speaker, the actor, the actors, the actress and actresses may pretend that it is spoken without preparation. Another um, meaning of it, according to Cambridge Dictionary, said a scripted speech or broadcast has been written before it is read or performed. Now, in Yabo Ojo, have finally come out to tell us one or two. Either um, the show is scripted or reality. Now, she also addressed so many things that went behind closed doors. So, you know, so many dramas we are given by Iyabo Ojo in this recent concluded Real Housewives of Lagos, which made so many people to even hate her the more, especially that part where she mentioned that she can bully anybody. Um, she had a fight with Laura EKG, and that bully statement came out, and people were like, you can't be fighting for justice for Mobad, and such kind of statement of bullying is coming out of your mouth. Now, when I signed on Real Housewife of Lagos, season one a lot of things were said to us that we should do and we shouldn't do and because I was new to it and I was getting to understand it I just went on the show to obey and do what I think I was asked to do now one thing that everyone needs to understand and which because i'm doing this video because i saw twins um write up and i could see some people i could see some people mentioning my name saying i said the show was scripted the show is not scripted i made that clear in the first post i posted that the show is not scripted but we are given certain instructions and it is designed in a way edited in a way to suit and some narratives are given to us to do. I'll give us some examples. Now, let me start from season one. When I started season one, I went there. There were certain things that we are not supposed to talk about, right? So it doesn't water down the show. And then people can find it interesting and watch. Last year, when I went there, I went there to just be myself and just listen and watch and see what was going on. What caused the first confusion? was when Laura said she was going to slap um, um, Caroline. And we were like, where is that coming from? I live in Megamon, right? So I want to find out. Choma lives in Ikoi. On a normal day, if I want to do exercise, I'll do exercise in my house. Or I go to the gym very close in my estate. I will not drive myself all the way to Lekki Face 1 to go and meet with Choma just to gossip about Laura that says she wants to slap Caroline. If we're not giving that instructions to do, I will not do it. So if you are giving instructions to do, that is not real life. That is acting. And that's some period. Am I making myself clear? I'm using all my own situations to, yeah. Now, when we were in Dubai, and Chema had to come and sit with me, and we had to have a conversation about one of the housewives. I can't remember whether it was a conversation about uh, Laura or Caroline. I can't remember. Why would we sit down and have that kind of conversation if we were not told to? That's number two. A lot of situations happen when they tell you what to do or what to say or ask certain questions or talk about certain things. There is no way because later I started watching the real housewives, different real housewives all over the world. There is no real housewife without drama. It is not possible. So if you choose to not give drama, they know that you have to be on the calm side. Last year, 
Laura chose to give drama. And that is why most of the times when we ask Laura, why are you behaving like this? She will say it's for the show. No hard feelings. It's for the show. That does not mean that. That does not mean that sometimes um, situations don't happen between the ladies. Fights don't happen between the ladies. For example, me and Caroline's issue at the end was not even on the show. It was when we were just in the room and whatever happened, happened. That was real life. Do you understand? But there are certain things that happen on the show that you are giving directives to do. Now, for me, they told me, the show told me that in season one, my ratings were low. Yes. My ratings were low because I did not do any drama. Really. I really didn't do any drama. Apart from when they told me, to talk about this or say this or do that. And in between, at the time, I refused to start talking about anything. So my ratings were low. And I said, okay, this year I will give drama. I will give drama. So there's no way in my real life that I would just wake up one morning and just step on somebody's dress and say, because I want to give drama. Even when I did that, I told Faith, I'm sorry, and I just did it for the show. And she said she understands. Now, if she's saying that, I never apologized to her about that. Well, I am apologizing again. I am sorry, but you know it was for the show. So let's put that aside. We are all grown women. Grown women. There's no little child there. I don't think anybody carried king and was beating anybody. Women gossip. Women fight. Women argue. A lot of things go down. And that is what we have to play out for the show. That is why it is called a show. Real life is when they carry a camera and they are following you up and down. Hmm? They are following you up and down with camera. If they have to show everything that we are recording, I'm telling you, it will not end in episode 12. It will happen in episode maybe 1,000. Because you know how many hours we shoot and they just go and take one or two things out. Not to water down the show, I would have mentioned some things, but let me just hang down on there that the production did. This same on this same show, I opened my shop, my my second shop in Chevron. Did you guys see it? Why did they take it out? Our diary sections are not one hour. Our diary sections are about two, three hours, and they ask us questions. If they did not ask me question, I do not have to respond. And about the bullying part, they said Laura said I'm a bully. And me, I was already upset with Laura. And I said what I said. It came out wrongly. And that is why I, I also apologized also to the viewers. Because I can see that a lot of people don't, don't understand. It is not a show. It is not scripted. But they, they edit it in a way that they give drama. Just the way Laura decided to be the villain in season one does not mean that Laura is a bully. But she had to put up her drama just for the show. If everybody comes on the show and we are all nice and saying, hi, how are you? Are you okay? Are you not? You always still come back and say the show is boring. So guys, we have heard from Iyabo Ojo with what she said in this video. Are we sure that people will still be interested in the next season? Like, are they not going to see it as something that is scripted, you know? And whether is um, a reality show or not whether she's been instructed to do what she did you see that word she used during her interview where she said she can bully anybody you know during her altercation and fight with um, laura ekg she was not supposed to say it knowing fully well that she is at the forefront of um, justice for more bad and she should have been wiser than that now she knows that these organizers they benefit from all these dramas at their own detriment though and yes so because at the end of the day it is really telling on Iyabo Ojo the way they are dragging her like I passed my neighbor generator and that alone is um is a thing to her to her career to her name you know, so it's a good thing she came out and uh, say one or two. And guys, you see, even dragged the organizers of the show. It is why low. And some people saying this, that, that, that. What is a reality show for? 
you know, without dramas, people will not be interested. Just look at BBN now. Any day there is drama in that reality show, you will see bloggers, YouTubers, you will see views upon views. People love dramas, and that's what that's what keeps the show running and interesting. And I, so that's just the, exactly what she said is what is really happening. People love bad news. Once you give good news like this, once there is no drama, you see low views and the rest of it. Oh, but once there is drama, everybody will just be diving like fish to come and know what is really happening. So that's human nature for you. But Iyabo Ojo should have made use of her number six. Now, now she they explain. <laughs> um, Bona Boy said you go explain Taya. Now she they explain. Organizers of the show now they are enjoying cooling off with the with um the money they made from the show, and she is here on her bed in her bedroom explaining to the whole world. Anyways, guys, that's life for you. That being said, that brings you to the end of this video. Please and please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos on this channel. We react, analyze, we give trending, this celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. And to my truly beautiful, wonderful, awesome subscribers, you guys are the real MVP. Thank you so, so much for your massive support and always watching. Bye bye for now as I'm signing up for my next one. Peace out. I love you all. KMS and Bye. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated.